I have judges of the High Court sitting right in front of me, judges of the District Judiciary sitting right in front of me. We would all support the enforcement of laws. So th remember that the way forward is for you to take the first step and if nothing happens, if the government is reluctant, then the courts can be called in aid. This would be in enforcement of the fundamental right of women to life, to health, to education, to employment. They all stem, livelihood stems from the right to life. Health stems from the right to life. Education is an independent right. But higher education maybe is not a fundamental right, but it can be connected with the right to life. So the first observation as a judge that I make to you is that uh, there is a window which you have opened in the last two days and the window is to the enforcement of laws as well as policies of the government that promote the population uh, management that we've all spoken about. Ultimately, all these recommendations that have been made and uh, have been announced today, they promote the welfare of the society. It's all in public interest. I congratulate the extraordinary learning, expertise, and devotion of the speakers who came on stage and shared their thoughts with us. The participation by members of the judiciary, members of the bar, members of uh, the public at large is deeply appreciated also for sparing time on a weekend and from places far away in Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Sindh, Gilgit Baltistan and even Kashmir to join us in, this, in these deliberations. All of us take back messages to our manzils, to our destinations. And those messages are that we have to support the women in our society to empower them, to educate them, to allow them the freedom of choice in employment, in taking decisions, basic decisions. And I don't mean unilateral decisions. Invariably, inevitably, in families, the decisions are mutual decisions. But to become healthy partners in the family, healthy decision makers in the family. And uh, all this would lead to a better society, a progressive society, and inshallah, an economically vibrant society. About manzil, there's an ayat of, from the Holy Quran. You must be thinking that, why does this gentleman either start with or conclude with the Holy Quran? But uh, there is this beautiful ayat from the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Rabbi anzalni munzilan mubarakan wa anta khairul munzilin. O my sustainer, cause me to reach a destination blessed by thee. For thou art the best to show man how to reach his true destination. Let the destination selected by the Almighty for mankind the best destination for mankind in this world be chosen for us and for this society to progress, develop in terms of enlightenment, in terms of skills, in terms of production, in contribution to, to uh, if you look at our preamble in the constitution, we have a role to play even in the international world. That is one of the uh, aspirations that our society has. I hope that the Almighty takes us 
to the beautiful destination, Munzilan Mubarakan. And I wish you all, as you go home, to Mubarak Manzils, so that uh, we can get down to work with a positive mind and a happy heart. Ultimately, if you remember, I started my conversation with you yesterday as uh, uh, the, uh, expressing the hope for a happy family. So let go, let's go back to happy families, happy thoughts, and happy times. God bless you all. में चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ पाकिस्तान उमर अता बंदयाल प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस कर रहे थे उन्होंने कहा कि सेहत तालीम समेत खातन के बुनियादी हकूक से मुतल पॉलिसियाँ मौजूद हैं मुल्क में बेहतरी लाने की ज़रूरत है उन्होंने कहा कि सेहत तालीम समेत खातन के बुनियादी हकूक से मुतल पॉलिसियाँ मौजूद हैं खातन के हकूक के हवाले से कानून साजी हो चुकी है